Hi, Hiro Imafuji here from kendoguide.com. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk about five tips to improve your kendo quickly. Okay, uh, these five things are very important as through my experiences to teach kendo. Um, if you do these things, you really improve your kendo really quickly. But if you don't, you have to struggle. I mean, you do have to struggle to improve your kendo, but um, you will get lost. Okay, so I hope these tips will help you to improve your kendo. Okay, let's start. Okay, listen to your teacher. Uh, this is very straightforward, you think. Uh, but this is important. Do as you are told. Okay. Um, a lot of people listen, but they don't do as they are told. Um, especially, Kendo is very unique. Kendo has a lot of unusual movements for a lot of people because um, it is Japan, Japanese martial art. And also, uh, it involves a lot of traditional movements. Okay, and so this is the funny thing is, even Japanese people have hard time to learn kendo now because uh, it's really tradition, traditional. Okay, so you gotta do as you're told. Okay, and trust your teacher. Uh, you might learn. You might have learned. Uh, what kendo is or kendo movements through books or articles or on internet or videos but if you have a teacher listen to him or her okay and trust him or her okay listen to your teacher trust your teacher and just do as you're told to do okay if you don't do this you might get lost. I mean, you will get lost, and then you don't know what to do anymore, and then you will develop bad habits. You can, and then it's very hard to get back into the right track. Okay. Try to accomplish what you learned. Uh, a lot of people uh, try to do a lot of things at the same time. Of course, you've le you you learn a lot at the uh, short amount of time. You have to learn footwork, you have to learn how to swing your sword, and blah, 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 blah. Right? And also Japanese terms, um, counting, and then taito, nuketo, blah, you know, those things. Uh, but take it slow. Try to accomplish what you just learned there at the dojo, okay? Uh, and then go home and try to do it again, try to recreate what you've learned. Okay, and if you can't do it, you can re relearn it at the dojo. Okay, so if you do these, you should be fine. I mean, this is the first step. Okay, listen to your teacher, do as you're told. Okay, so because you have to do what you're told by your teacher, Okay, you have to choose your teacher. Okay, this is very important uh, because you choose, if you choose a bad teacher, okay, you are not going to learn correct kendo. It's easy, right? Easy, very easy. If you, if you choose a wrong teacher, you're not going to learn the right kendo. And we have a saying, Spend, spend three years to find a good teacher rather than starting three years earlier. Uh, what, that, what, that, what it means is uh, you want to start as quickly as possible. Uh, I understand that. But rather than just start right away, you should take a moment, okay? Try to find a good teacher, okay? If you don't see, if you cannot find a good teacher, don't start with uh, a teacher. Well, what? don't start with a teacher or in a dojo. You just happen to be there, 
okay? So that is very important. This is a, this is a martial art, uh, basically, I think this is a martial arts world in Japan. Uh, people say this all the time. Spend three years, okay? Don't start right away. If you don't have a good teacher, you, you learn wrong stuff, and then and you're gonna waste your time, okay? So this is very important. Okay, and then emulate your teacher, copy what your teacher does. This is the quickest way to uh, improve your kendo, uh, improve anything, okay? Copy, like, uh, okay, sometimes you can uh, copy everything uh, your teacher does because of experience, okay? Because of uh, maybe physical uh, abilities, like, uh, even if I try to uh, emulate, copy Michael Jordan when I, if I play basketball, probably I can't do what he can, okay? But uh, you're gonna learn from someone who's really good and emulate your teacher and copy them, do what you're told, right? And you finally uh, learn really quickly improve your kendo without knowing it okay that's the best that's ideal okay so it is good to have questions but sometimes you don't get the answer because you have to you have to be a certain level to understand really what's going on that happens a lot in kendo Okay, if I tell you about semi or if you tell you about uh, a lot of other things that uh, you will understand maybe after 10 years, you probably don't understand right now if you're just studying. Okay, so do as you're told and you will gradually understand if, uh, teachings of Kendo, philosophies of Kendo too. Okay, let me talk about uh, what good teacher is. In Kendo, Okay, good teachers emphasize on basics, basic movement. They tell you the basic movements. Okay, the, these are the core of kendo. If your teacher try to teach you a lot of techniques first, okay, uh, there's, there's a teaching method so that, you know, they teach you more stuff so you don't get bored. Okay, but basically, Kendo teachers tell you to learn the basics because with the basics, you cannot learn more. You cannot learn fun stuff, okay? I, I want you to learn fun stuff. And also, good teachers tell you what you need to know, okay? But it's not necessarily what you want to learn, if you know what I mean. Good teachers show you what you need to know at your level, okay? And then they'll show you, okay, if you can do this, you will be able to do that. Maybe that encourages you, okay? But they'll tell you the basics is the most important thing in Kendo. Okay, more actions than theories, okay? Uh, both are important. Actions and theories, okay? But many theories are based on actions. So you can learn a lot of uh, good stuff about Kendo, right? From Kendo, all right? Uh, but if you really want to understand what they mean, you have to do it, okay? You can, uh, it's same as anything else. You, you just cannot improve tennis, for example, just by reading it, by reading how to, uh, hit a ball, right? Uh, baseball, basketball, same thing. You have to do it in order for you to understand really what's going on. And then as you improve, you will understand more complicated stuff. Okay? So that's how it works. So uh, I know some of uh, a lot of people wants to understand theories first. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. But, but if you want to improve quickly, do it, just do it, do it, do it, okay? You may, yeah, this is you may not understand theories now, like I said, okay? 
you maybe have to be at certain level to understand many other many things in kendo okay maybe that you don't understand what your teachers are saying now but it doesn't mean they are saying bulk you know bs yeah they're saying it's not that okay sometimes uh you have to you have to be more advanced sometimes you have to be more older. I mean, get, you have to get older. You have to, you need more life experience to understand what's going on uh, in kendo too. Okay, so it's maturity. It's something to do with maturity. It's something to do with your uh, kendo. Uh, basically, if you have to, your skill, your techniques must might have to improve to understand certain certain theories as well. So. If you don't understand now, that's fine, but don't argue, okay? You might just don't understand now. You might understand in the future, okay? So understand it now, okay? Just listen to it, okay? Okay, that's how it is. Okay, just get it and then practice, okay? And then you will eventually understand, okay? And don't get frustrated. This is big. Don't get frustrated. Okay, frustration doesn't really help you. Okay, if you get frustrated and uh, you try to do more, and, and then you you cannot control your emotion, and you if you cannot control emotion, you cannot control your movements. Bad spiral. Okay, it goes bad circle. You finally just go, no, I'm not gonna do this. I can't do kendo. Okay, uh, that happens a lot too. So frustration, uh-uh, okay? Making mistakes tells you the right path, okay? So you make mistakes, that's fine. That's fine by everything, you know, by everyone. That's fine by me, okay? That's what I tell my students. If you make mistakes and I'll tell you, okay? Because that's my job, I tell you, uh, that was uh, uh, this is wrong you should be doing that okay now you know the right path okay that's the most important thing don't concentrate on mistakes concentrate on the right path to go on okay and knowing the right path should make you happier right not more frustrated okay so now you know what to do now you know where to go be happy right Enjoy the learning process. That is a part of learning process, okay? Getting frustrated, you can't go anywhere. You just, you stay at where you are, okay? So please, don't get frustrated. Enjoy the learning process, okay? Of course, you have to try hard to get the right movements, right? But it's not, not necessary to get frustrated, okay? Okay, the last thing, five. Kendo is a lifelong training, okay? Keep training, never know when you flourish, okay? Uh, my sensei, the late Surumaru sensei, uh, became ninth dan, but he doesn't have, he never, uh, he never won any championships that I know of, okay? Uh, but he became ninth dan, right? And uh, Murayama Sensei, he, the late Murayama Sensei, he was 8th Dan, and he became 8th uh, Dan champion, but before that, he didn't win any championship, okay? Of course, they, I'm not saying you all of a sudden, you became champion, or 9th Dan. They trained hard they, when they were young. You, you, I cannot imagine how hard they trained. It's a lot harder than me, of course. A lot harder than probably anyone else. Okay? And then they made it to 8th Dan. They made, he became 8th Dan champion. Uh, from the late Sermon says he became 9th Dan. All right? But you never know. You never know. If you quit now, you quit. You never know. Zero. If you quit now, it's zero. If you keep, con if you training, 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 you make, you know, May, it might take you 10 years to notice that kendo is really good for you. Okay, so keep training. 
be happy, enjoy the process, okay? Challenging makes you a better person, okay? Maybe you cannot do certain things right away, but trying, challenging is the most important thing. I tell my students, the process is more important, okay? In, in Kendo, like uh, if you are already study, studying Kendo now, before, during, after strike, is very important we don't really emphasize on if we get the target or not it is also important okay but before during after strike is very important it's a process okay hitting a target is a part of process okay but it's not the most important thing in kendo if you know what i mean you challenge make it better Every, it's even the kihon. Uh, when you when you practice kendo, kihon becomes a routine, and when it becomes routine, you do it without thinking. But always try to improve your basics, kihon. Okay, that makes you a better person. Okay, that makes your kendo improve in the future. Not probably not right now, but in the future. Okay. Uh, if you think you are taking the wrong path, talk to your uh, kendo mate or teacher. Okay, am I am I doing this right? Am I do am I am I going somewhere uh, I shouldn't be going? Okay, ask your teacher, ask your kendo mate. Okay, ask your kendo mates to check your kendo. All right, uh, you don't have to do this all alone. All right. You have kendo mates, okay? If you have kendo mates around you, dojo, if you go to dojo, ask them, right? And you can help them too, okay? That's how you improve. It's a lifelong training, and your kendo mates hopefully think that way too, so you can work at it together, right? Here we go. You are not alone, okay? I've been there. I wanted to quit kendo a lot of times, okay? Um... When I was a kid, I didn't want to go out because that was very hard. Uh, when I became high school student, um, I was I was good uh, when I was junior high school, but I chose not to go to these strong kendo strong high schools. I chose normal school, and then uh, I became not strong anymore, and people didn't talk to me at all. That was harsh. That was harsh, but. Uh, that was my uh, bad experience in kendo. Okay, if you're not strong, I mean, if I'm not, I, do I have to be strong to get to talk to? I mean, like, friend with you? You know, some teachers didn't even talk to me because I wasn't strong anymore. So I went through that, and also I went through a lot of things that the uh, I wanted to quit kendo, but. You and me now talking, it's because of Kendo, okay? And uh, I had a lot of friends because of Kendo. I have a lot of friends because of Kendo. I met a lot of great people. I met a lot of great sensei because of Kendo. Okay, so you're not alone. Every single person, even ninth down sensei, went through the same path that we do. We, we are going through, okay? They did, don't just became 99. They trained hard. Of course, they uh, had a hard time. Okay, maybe some sensei gave them a hard time, like some people bullied, bullied on them or something. I don't know. But every single person went through a hard time. Okay, not only you. Okay, so keep going and think it as lifetime training. Now, now, maybe you cannot be strong right now or in one year or two years, maybe in 10 years. Okay, if you keep doing, keep trying hard, okay, trying to try the basics, okay, and then one day you will get there eventually. That's what Kenya is, okay. I hope you like the video and I really hope we can see each other in the future and then train together and talk about kinder. Thank you very much.